Here's an interesting option. So I, I might be able to get an extra agent from here. Which would be cool, because I think I did my entire last playthrough with only two agents. And at, at times it was a little trying. Transport lock acquired. Do not waste my calculations. All right, so recon the det the uh, detention center. Get out alive. This is where it might be. I love outclassing my opponents. This is where it might be very handy to have that decoder. In fact, I might just slap it on right now, just because I have it, and it's right there. Do a little bit of hacking in our very first room. Make sure we s get that fusion started. All right, what's out here? Hello, robot. Hackable robot. Doesn't shoot or anything though, it's just something that can cause me problems basically. Camera's inactive at the moment. But I will get spotted as I come through that door. Let's see. Let's take a quick peek. Okay! What the fuck is that? An Akuma drone. I don't think we s I don't remember even encountering that one last time. Heavy armor, a uh, huge line of sight boost. Local scanner, drone investigates with a short range scanner that will locate targets even behind cover. Appar I hope not be hope not through walls though. Does he attack? He looks like he has guns on him. Let's see. That's a lot of programming right there. He's, he's got a full wall there. Oh, there's an Abake drone. That one, that one can also shoot. What if I shoot that drone with it? It does heavy. It does have heavy, heavy armor, though. Should I give it a shot? Why not? Let's see how it goes. Oh, hey, buddy. There's also a killable target in here. So it's armored. I can't even shoot that guy. Should I just wipe someone out immediately? I can also take out the camera. You know what? Hello, alarm level. Alarm <laughs> okay. Um, that was a lot of sound alerts for that shot in one area. That escalated rather abruptly. That was a mistake, basically. That was probably not a good idea. Agent tracked. The enemy will turn as you move. I'm hoping you'll shoot that guy, because that'll also take out an additional target. But yeah, um... Did not account for the sheer number of sound sensors nearby, so that one gunshot actually gave us like several ranks of uh, security right off the bat. So this mission might go very poorly for me. Um... Let's go ahead and... Try to get a better line of sight on this room. Um, KO immune. God damn. This is just like mission two, where I, I start I start the mission and immediately I feel so completely packed into a tiny space to the point where I'm like, can I do anything? Because I kind of feel like I can't do anything. There's a s ooh. Camera database. Uh, I was hoping for a, a server. Corporate safe. Nanofabricator. I wish we could. If only we could uh, KO a camera drone. So you can only get rid of it by destroying it, right? Or use an EMP, which I don't have. Let's go ahead and close this door. It's gonna come over here anyway. But next turn, I can try to knock it. I can. Uh, I, all the cameras are coming on too. I really created a problem for myself. I really created a problem for myself. At least, at least I'm getting the robots to hit each other a lot. All right, so we have 11 power now. Akuma drone is nasty. Oh, hey, there's another one over here. Let's see. I could use that to just shoot it. 
Should we just keep digging this fucking hole deeper at this point? Why not? Alright, cool. Things are getting worse. So much worse. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a clusterfuck of a mission if you haven't noticed yet. I immediately put us in a bad situation, but man... This is a situation in my last campaign I didn't really encounter very much, was the, which is the idea that you uh, spawn in and literally every particle outside your room is line of sight with people and you can't go there. Let's see... I currently have the power... to knock out that camera. Does that give me- that, that does clear me to, to move around a bit. Let's see... Don't know where to go ne yet, necessarily. And, and there's also more cameras to worry about. I can afford to take that one out right now. Are you on cooldown? I assume you're currently on cooldown, right? Yeah. So I spend this, we'll get three, but won't get, we won't get the other bonus. But it may be worth it to try to get in that door. What is in that room? I do need to kind of scout this whole area out, because I can't see anything. That's the furthest I can make it this turn. Let's- oh yeah, duh, robot. I control you. Just freaking walk out into that room and show me what's in there. So, there's a door. And this is where guards will spawn. And not a whole lot else to see. If I go this way more, it'll get you a little further away from our characters. I should have closed the door behind me. Alright, so this can't- this room doesn't look important yet, although it could become important really quickly if the, if the other doors don't lead me enough places. Let's see... Level 5 freaking drone right now. Alright, that guy's gonna cause me some problems. Let's see here... I can go around the corner here. But what's over there? Let's risk it. I figured we'd have some amount of safety, because we didn't- no one was in line of sight at the moment. Alright. Alrighty then. I am making a mess of things. You... what do I even do with you? I get more power from hacking that real quick. But I also kind of want to be here for when this door opens. Which is... gonna happen next turn. Although that dro that drone's gonna be a problem. So I can't hack everything in that room to get that bonus point. Do I have you- do I- do I just have you stay here for a bit? I can at least have you hack this real quick. There we go. That'll give us some good. So we- we still need to find our target. And obviously I've built up the security level at an alarming pace. Um, did that guy just see someone? That drone's acting weird, isn't he? God, five power. That's rough. Let's grab this guy real quick. Let me see this room. That drone really is causing me a problem. Alright. I don't have a lot of... ...solutions for him, either. Is he reacting to the freaking body over here? Did he not already know that was there? I need that drone to go away. Alright, so... Camera database, I don't think is immediately useful to me. Let's see... Let's see here. What can I do with Rush? Because I'm not doing a lot with the other character right now. Hello! Secondary server terminal. Do I want to hack you? I feel like this could help me, actually. Let's give this a shot. Hey, look, it's this thing. Right, this is the... Alright, controls drones for an extra turn. Pa oh, hello, that's nice. And, uh, move a daemon to a random device. I like the idea of being able to control drones. Obviously, I need to actually get currency first. Hello, room. Is this one still all robots again? 
They don't like to have they don't like to have actual guards around here anymore, do they? Huh. He's really gonna sit there and stare at that body, isn't he? Damn it! Everything went wrong. That's another location where enemies can spawn. Good to know. Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and open a... Open up line of sight here. That room has two chests in it. Or two safes. And a terminal. But not our target. Could it be all the way over there? There's a door all the way over there. I may have completely screwed up today. I may have completely screwed up today. So I don't think that room... Uh, let's take a better, a better peek if we can. That did not amount to much more, did it? Fuck. Um, just trying to get a bearing of this scenario. I'm not getting a great line of sight all around. We'll check the next door. Is that guy just gonna stay there? At this point, I've got to give up on it, right? He's just gonna stay there. What's that guy doing? He looks alarmed about something. Let's go stay behind cover. I'm a little worried that guy might come over here and spot me as a little as a little thing. Oh wow! Is he? Is he? Is the plan? He's he's planning on taking a path that goes through this room. Well, that's- that's his confined line of sight. Let's go for it. Alright. That was a shortcut, at least. Is a robot gonna walk in here and spot us? Oh, he's scanning around that guy. It's probably a good thing I moved then. I think that might have scanned the room I was in. So I could run straight through that, but that would obviously set off alarms. Technically an option, though. Uh, Rush? What can you see in here? Really hoping to see the freaking character at some point. Yeah, at least seems safe to walk in here at the moment. Oh, another one of these doors that I can't open right now. Let's see, does one of you, do, do either of you still have that code? No, the pass the pass key for that floor goes away after one floor. This thing is a daemon database. And a sound bug. Dare I go for the safe? Right, restart that cycle. Let's see... I may want to hack that camera just to see around in that room properly. Where do I want to go? I think I need to hack that camera just to clear this room, because I can't... I can't navigate in this room otherwise. And... It seems to be that whatever I'm trying to get to is probably over here. I hope. Is there any... is there a loose end back here? No loose ends over here. Have I found the exit yet? So there's no exit over here. And there's no loose end as far as like the uh, place that the guy could be as far as I can tell. So these are probably the interrogation chamber potential locations. So yeah, our best bet's probably to go through that door, which means we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna mind control that guy. Let's see, you take cover here. And then you take cover. Over here, is that- yeah, that's two-sided cover. And next turn, I'll get some more power and I can hack that guy and we can go through that way, because... Man, I cannot get around right now. We're having a tough time at the moment. Don't worry, guys, I'm well aware of the fact that I've not performed my best this mission. <laughs> um... This guy just- is this, oh, he's- did he finally leave the room? You son of a bitch. That makes it super tempting to go running in there. Oh, it's so tempting to go for it. Can we predict his mo his motions? No, we can't even see him, huh? And I can't hack him until, unless I get a lot more power, but that's the security guard! That's the guy whose who's loot I can use. Uh, I just so see this failing if I go that way, though. Oh, crap. Her default path goes through the, uh... Okay, so... Fuck it, I'm gonna risk it. This is a terrible idea. He's not gonna just turn around and go in the same room again, is he? 
We'll see. We will see. Alright, so this room should be clear. Aside from Pesky Robot. Did I just lose line of sight on Pesky Robot? Don't do that. Well, there, there's the Pesky Robot. Alright. Let's go ahead and hack you. So that I don't lose track of you. And while I have control of you, why don't you, like, wander over here, see what's through this door for me. Hello. That's a captain with a heart monitor. And it looks like this room would have... Looks like this room has, uh... Soldiers in it, probably. Alright, well, I'm only gonna have control of you for this turn, so... We're just gonna have to accept the consequences here. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. That's, uh... That is, in fact, where the room is. Crap. Incognita has detected an agent currently logged as MIA. They would be an incredible asset if you can get them back on the team. So there's the agents. Oh, agent over there we can try to get back. Just need to open the doors, which I'm sure will get us in more trouble. Let's see, at the moment you're standing out in the open, which is really bad. So I'm gonna say... Is he heading over there? Security's closing on this location. Okay. I need you to deal with that guy, so let's... This is the time to use that stim. I'll stand right in front of the door. Yeah, he's, he's gonna walk straight there, right? And open the door. So if I stand right in front of him, I can ready an ambush. And I should be able to take him out as he attacks me. You have zero AP, and you're probably gonna- I don't know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> this could go really poorly. Let's find out how badly I fucked up. There we go. At least that part of the plan worked out. Yes, that guy totally went the way I was hoping it would go. I'm trapped now, so it's not the best plan, but... I mean, I, at, least I get, at least I get my upgrade. So that's something cool. Um, neural scan. Speed raised by one point. And steal. Money, and a security card, which could also come in handy. So now the biggest concern is the fact that this guy's out here being a pain in the ass, because obviously, he's very expensive to hack, because he costs five. But aside from that, the one extra security guard's taken out already, so that's cool. Let's see. He'll be down for at least a few turns. Other guy's dead. That guy's rebooting, which is not great news for me. Although I could hack him again and kill this security guard. <laughs> And then we'd have two bodies over here for Draco to, to sap points from. Meaning that I'm getting a lot of bang for just hacking droids over and over again instead of actually killing anyone. The biggest the biggest complication right now is what the Akuma... Is exactly what the Akuma dro uh, drone is going to be up to. Particularly with my ability to get like get around it and stuff like that. So can, I, can I close the door? There we go. That'll make me a little harder to spot at least. Alright, I might pull this off. The biggest thing is, can I run past the Akuma drone? Huh. Alright, so... Let's hack you. Real quick. Walk on over here. Oh, I can't kill sleeping guys. Alright. Can I stand on Sleeping Guy to help make him keep him pinned for longer? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to murder him in his sleep, <laughs> which is horrible, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, I feel like the moment I touch this, something is gonna go horribly wrong. And I haven't found the exit yet? I think the exit's gonna be over here, because there's a obvious... There's doors over here, and where else would it be? My, the one risk is that over here, there could potentially be like an exit I can't see somewhere, which would be a bummer, because that would be really bad for me. Let's see, what's that thing over here? Power supply. Oh, hello. That would be handy for taking out that door, which would allow... If I take out that door, we could take an alternate exit here. Yeah. If I hack the power supply, I could go running through this direction 
without having to walk into that guy's path. The problem is I don't have the AP right now, and that asshole's probably gonna turn that direction in a moment anyway. So I'll avoid hacking this power the power for now. All right, let's let's tr let's try to. Uh, oh, I have to I have to hack that too. All right. All right, we're going to get bonus power at the end from being low, so that's good. Let's use it. Let's get the hell out of here, says Banks, my brand new companion character. All right, she comes with an augment. Crypto computer. The quantum descrambler implanted in Banks' cranium makes short work of most encryption. Unlocks level one security doors without a pass. Yes, she can open doors without using a card. That's fantastic. Um, she comes with no inventory though, which is problematic. You come with a cloaking rig, which could help, or a stim. At the, at the moment, I think I'll avoid those. Let's see. I mean, I should be thorough. There could be a door in this corner that ruins my day if I don't actually check it. So, boop. Nope, it's definitely a dead end over there. Alright, I haven't looted your body yet. Steal. A redundant password, pass card at this point, and money. I'm gonna avoid the AP downside for the moment. And just go for taking cover. And then banks, you can also head up that way. It says that these are cover, so I hope that they can't see me through them, otherwise I'm gonna be very disappointed. Uh, and you're still you're waiting for next turn to potentially go through here, where I might hack that power supply and run over here and try to escape with what's left of my life <laughs> after I've blown this mission. Robots are hard. Okay. That one's down there. That one's also a robot, huh? Interesting. They're all robots all the time. This guy's a problem, though. He needs to stop. Ah, uh, I wish I could just hack him. Let's see. It would cost me three to get through the first two. It would be three to get through the first two, then four to get through the next two, and I would still not have enough. We gotta use that one, obviously. Let's see, how long does power stay down? Also, where's the power supply again? Power supply. Daemon database, corporate safe. Nanofab- Oh, I should check the fabricator. I don't have money, though, is the problem. Camera database. There's the power supply. It'll unleash a daemon, of course it will. Alright. What do I have to deal with now? Alarm raised by three. Oh, man. That's not good news at all. All right. Well, now I, can, now I turned off the laser emitters. And the good news is this guy... They're not currently watching this direction, so at least I'm safe to go there. So that part of the plan works just fine. Bad side is now my other characters are totally trapped in a way that I wasn't really hoping they would be. Um... Maybe, next turn, I might, be able, I might be able to hack this guy. And if he shoots this guy from the right direction, he might get distracted and look that way. Which could let me escape. Otherwise, I'm pretty not in good situation here. Also, this freaking door back here could still be the, the way out. And this guy doesn't have the AP to check over here to be sure. Vault access, level 1 security pass card. Is he overburdened right now? He can carry 6 items, he has 6 items. No, he's good. He's good. Um... Just can't do a lot right now, can we? You guys have all the AP in the world and nowhere to go with it right now. Because this guy's gonna shoot. That's a bad situation. Alright, I'm gonna have to wait, I think. I think I'm gonna have to wait. Maybe that guy will go somewhere else, I don't know. They're all noticing the body over here. Let's see. Still have, like, no power to spend. Let's see here. I do want to figure out where this door goes. Uh, let's figure that out right now. That'll help me decide where I'm going. That's the exit. We have the exit direction found. Good. 
Good. I can do something with that. Hack that guy. You... How much AP do you have? Enough to go over here, at least? I'm hoping... I can't even attack him? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um... I was hoping by attacking him I could create a distraction. Alright, we're in a bad situation at the moment. She can sprint for her life, but she can't deal with the fact that there's a guy right there. Also, that door's open right now, isn't it? I'm gonna go close that door really quick. It's gonna be a problem for me. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to keep waiting for the moment. Let's see. Draco, can we confirm that this room's completely empty? It is, in fact, completely empty. Okay. And he has a pass card. Should I just... Maybe I should just start hacking safes with him. Probably wait till the last moment to do that, though. He can at least go through that door. There we go. And with that door open, he can get bonus power over here, which could... If I get enough... Uh, if, I get, if I can generate enough power, I might be able to just brute force hack that guy. Otherwise, I don't know. This guy's... The Akuma drone, I do not remember dealing with him in the previous playthrough. I don't think he came up in the random... Alright. So this is where things get bad. Alarm level 5. I've literally never been here before. <laughs> Corporation's called one elite enforcer. The security also has pinpointed one agent location. So big... Oopsie. I had my mouse in the wrong position so it started running around. Okay, they know where he is now. That's not good news for me. Alright, Draco. Let's get some power. Two power. So that takes me to seven. I should probably just get started on this guy. There we go. Uh, I get three per turn. I get three per turn. If I wait a turn... I may actually have this. If I wait one turn, I will get... This will go down to three three cost. And I'll get three. So I'll, I'll have seven power. And this will cost me seven power. So two more hacks and this guy will actually be on my team. The question is... Uh, ha 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 ha. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with a few elements I haven't quite dealt with yet, so I have to try to deal with a few unknowns here. The question is, I don't remember if, I don't, firewalls don't regenerate, do they? Like, in, like from turn to turn? Here, you come over here, we're gonna pass you the cloaking rig, because well, this character can use a stim pack to run, oh. Do we still have a longer cooldown for that? I, I did use that, didn't I? Ah, uh, still have a cooldown on that thing? Yep. Alright, so that's not gonna quite work anyway, but uh... I, def I definitely need that hacking to work out then. So otherwise we're gonna be in some trouble. He doesn't necessarily know to go this way though, he just knows to check the area. So, we'll see how that goes. Meanwhile, you're kind of standing out in the open, but there's no doors into this room? from that direction, so he's gonna take a while to get over here anyway. Yeah, he, I don't think he'll have that high of a movement speed. Alright, plus three power. This guy's at three. Now all demons are hidden. Okay. At least I've got this guy. I can kill the drone, or I can kill this guy. There we go. Oh, shit. Things are getting worse. Alright, so now there are... There are two elite enforcers coming. Okay, ah. Uh, didn't notice this. When did this guy get here? Shit. 
That's bad. Uh, that's really bad. I didn't see that guy at all. I'm in trouble here. I should have hacked that guy too. Oh, wow. When did that guy get there? Oh, that's the first drone. Shit. I genuinely forgot about that one. That's bad. That's bad. Get you out of the way a bit. Um, how far can I even make it with these characters? I'm gonna rewind. I'm gonna finally rewind. Alright. It's the beginning of the previous turn. So I need I needed that power to get that guy, but uh if I if I retreat, does is he free to go at that point? Um I'm going to retrieve that power again, because we do need it for the plan. But if I get behind this thing, then I can't get spotted for the for the moment. These characters can go according to plan. Let's see, that thing did not immediately spot me, so... This is when we have the seven power to spend? No, this is the first phase, so I spend the, I spend, spend the first wave here. The next part's going to happen in a moment. He's gonna get one turn to move around, but he went over to that guy last time, right? So it might be safe. No, let's not go walking around the corner yet, but uh... I can at least go up to the door to give us bo a bonus range here. Oh my god, this has gone poorly for me. That's the first time I've utilized a, a rewind to genuine... Like, I've re I, I think I used a rewind last time. No, I... Ah? This might be the first time I've genuinely used a rewind to try to change the events of a mission. That was my mistake, though, to just flat out not see that guy over there. That went really poorly for me. So, as fun as it is, to, as fun as it is to kill people, when you're like, uh, as fun as it is to kill people, just because there's a character in the party that can benefit from that kind of activity. I think I don't want to do that. It's... Can I not taser him? Oh crap, you're the wrong character. Um... Let's have you move out of the way a little bit. I mixed up my female characters a little bit. Haven't had to differentiate them that well before. Oops, not, not ambush. KO. Back down with you. Let's see... This guy... Um... He's currently on top of the other guy, which means that he's not going to be able to wake up, right? So if I hack him... Demons are hidden. He's currently on top of the other robot, which means the other robot can't wake up, right? I assume... Is he pinned? I think he's pinned at the moment. Here, let's try to take cover back here. So I'm going to want to try to make a break for that door next turn. Try to figure out what to do with this character, though. So that guy's... Of course he's KO immune. Alright. I can sneak over here. I can sneak over here, which might allow me to go over here, actually, but I don't think that would let me get past him. Unless he's real dumb. He does have no hearing. Does not detect sound. What kind of crazy gamble can I make here? He's probably going to run forward, right? Because he's going towards my current... Oh, wait, no. He he has me pinpointed, doesn't he? So he knows exactly where I am. I may just have to wait a turn and hack him next turn. Because he'll approach me, right? He won't kill me right away because I'm out of his line of sight. So if I wait, I can hack him next turn, which will allow me to stop, avoid this problem. Oh, he's go is he heading over there specifically? That's his interest point. That's also bad. So I, do, I definitely want to hack him for that reason, too. Let's wait. There we go. He, he went to the interest point. And now he's scanning. And now the elite soldiers are coming in here. So we want to stop that from happening as best we can. Let's see. We'll hack this guy. 
because he's in my way. Start the power cycle here for the next series of turns. Move him through here. Close the door. I can't kill that guy from here, probably. Nope. All right. Now the problem is how to try to get out of here. All right, currently out of line of sight. She can make it, which is good. How far can you make it, though, is the question. Two more AP. You've had better. Let's see. Stim's not going to make it this turn. Cloaking rig. <gasps> Give her the cloaking rig. There we go. Wait, can she not use it? She can't. Speed level two. Crap. All right, well, that's not good. Well, at least she made it. <laughs> our prisoner's gonna have. To, our, our friend's gonna have to try to take cover behind this terminal because that's as far as she can make it. And Draco has a new lease on life because he can make it over here. Let's see. This guy is. The alarm will go off if he, if he dies. Can I knock him out? I wonder if I can knock him out. Let's see. There's a safe over here. Maybe I should plan on hit, on hacking that safe right before we leave, just in case. Just to get a little bit of currency, try to salvage some worth out of this, because we're really close. One, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think, I think, I think his AP would allow him to get into that elevator next turn. So I'm gonna have him sit here for the potential hacking. Ah, oh, things have gone poorly. What is he throwing in there? Oh, a scanning grenade. Oh, he's totally going the wrong way. That's cool. That's cool. You can keep that. I love that this guy is. I love that this guy's freaking on top of the other robot, so he can't move. That's so perfect for me. All right. Uh, fuck this guy. Firewalls on safes are increased by t double. That's fine. I'm not gonna be- I don't plan on using any more. Paralyzer. Ooh. Take a pit knocked out target and make them knocked out for longer. Good. Can you make it? You can make it to the right room, which is pretty much as good as we need. Close that door behind me. And let's just be happy that I've made it this far. You know what? No one died. I got a new agent. I think- <laughs> After how badly that started, I think I'm just happy that that happened. <laughs> Man. Man, I've never seen them the alarm get that high yet. Alright. I have this mission is the mission where I learned very hard to uh respect the alarm. The noise the noise detectors are scary. I'm sure the agent who recovered is grateful to get out of that cell. I'm grateful to have more boots on the ground. Yeah, freaking uh, noise alarms are scary. One shot notifies like, I don't think I realized before this this mission specifically that one shot could trigger like several noise alarms and make the alarm completely lose its mind. So there's a cleanup cost of 303, a little higher than I would expect. Made it though, we made it out of there. And we got, he did get a speed bonus from one of them at least. Surprising lack of guards overall. Yeah, there was only two guards in the base place. I only got more because they started uh, sending more. Oh, there was there was more than two, I guess. There was the captain, but I was not going to get him in the same room as that captain after how bad things were getting. I'm just happy to get as far as we got. So we have zero credits now. <laughs> oh, I'm fucked. All right, well, I have med gel and paralyzer. We can give paralyzer to someone who can carry it. Wow, I need to get- that's the problem, is she's brand new. I need to get her the ability to even have a, uh, disruptor at this point. Because she doesn't even have that. Let's see. Maybe give her that disruptor? So she can do that? It gives her some function, because at least this guy can run around and sap hit points, and if I get him a freaking reload, he can use his gun again. <laughs> uh... He's, pre he's often preoccupied enough trying to get points and using the deco decoder that, uh... And otherwise being an item mule that he can serve that purpose for the moment. Alright. I won't claim to think that that mission did, did well. <laughs> oh, man. Pattern has 
resolution at 50%. Nearing confidence threshold. Now we're getting somewhere. Where did you find this thing anyway? Incognito was built back in the 40s by the pan-European government to run climate models. When the war broke out, she was retrofitted to predict troop movements. When we lost the war, I salvaged what I could of her central intelligence unit. We built Invisible together. Funny. You never strike me as an anthropomorphizing type. And you've never struck me as particularly charitable. And yet here you are, helping us out. I guess we all have our weaknesses. <laughs> 